you are a disciple of what's called the Austrian School of Economics. What is that, briefly? Uh, and, and, and what would economists like Ludwig von Mises and Friedrich Hayek, who were two of the leaders of the Austrian School right. of Economics, what would they say is the right way to deal uh, with boosting the economy now and with dealing with our national debt? Well, they asked Mises that one time. They were having runaway inflation in Austria. It's Austrian economics because the main leaders of the school came. They escaped. They were mostly Jewish, and they came over here to escape uh, Nazism. And they asked him once at the height of a crisis like this, and there was a, a bit more inflation, and they said to uh, Mises, uh, what would you do? And he said, I'd resign. In other words, Take your hands off of it. Let the people take care of it. Let the people who have lived beyond their means, let them go bankrupt. Let the liquidation occur. Get rid of the malinvestment like we did in 1921. We recovered, it's not even in, hardly in our textbook about the depression of 1921, which was a natural consequence of the inflation for World War I. So we want our hands off. The depression lasted 17 years because we wouldn't do that. Japan has had hands-on. They've been in the doldrums for 20 years. So, and we're now into this one. It's a lot more than five years. We're basically been in over 10 years that our economy has been slipping. So they would say, hands-off, give us a sound currency, free up the markets, property rights, enforce contracts, make sure people go bankrupt when they're bankrupt, and don't bail out their buddies. Don't let the Federal Reserve create money out of thin air and bail out their bunnies, uh, buddies. But the most important thing about Austrian economics is the artificially low interest rates which cause business people, savers, and consumers to do the wrong things. They make mistakes. So I, they, it's sort of like a price control that causes all the problems.